Nah, yeah, bro, this show is nuts. What were we talking about? So we were talking about theories we're making, right? So what I'm thinking is, and it's the same thing exactly like you, but I really feel like Omni-Man's out there to conquer, dude. Like, he, No, that was actually one of my... I, I said, I, when I when I first said the shit that I said, I said either destroy or take over, because one of them I oh, would make sense. But but taking over does make, make more sense, you know what I mean? Because what we said. What you had just said that I didn't even think about... Was that he definitely was on the planet for this whole time, but he didn't decide to kill them until his son got powers. So I didn't even I didn't even draw that um, connection. But the him killing them might have had something to do with his son getting powers. Nah, cause because mm. literally, but he was on that planet the entirety of the time, even after he had his son. Like if it had something to do with his son. Then he would have did it after he had his son. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm but saying, right? He waited. He nothing happened. He was on that planet the entire time. Didn't do nothing until his son got powers. Right, and you know why? It's cause his his son getting his powers reminded him of what to do. Cause he really deep down, like you saw the last scene of, uh, or not the last scene, the second to last scene of episode six, like. If he really didn't love Devi, he would have attacked her. But you knew oh, yeah, he, he would have smoked. He, he smoked loved him. her. He loved her. You can tell, bro. Like yeah, he. That's why he was tight. Yeah, 100%. he didn't want to. He didn't want to hurt her or anything. Because deep down, like if you're a Viltrumite who doesn't really care about anything, you would just like yeah, offer, just offer, right her right shit. There. Yeah. offer right there. Yeah, offer right She knows too much at this point. She gotta go. Yeah, but he deeply loves her. That's why I feel like that's what that's one of the reasons why I love this show. Right? It's because. Omni Man isn't just a psychopath. He's not a sociopath. Like he's yeah. literally like he has feelings. Like he yeah. he actually cares for his family, and that's I feel like that's gonna be a struggle later on in the show. Um, yeah, when I agree. Mark finds out, when Mark finds out, then oh, when yeah, Mark yeah, finds yeah, out, then like it's gonna be oh my god. Yeah, yeah no, that shit's gonna be bro. fucking nuts, bro. This series, dude. Shit is mad good, bro. And there's so many other threat that like this series really does i think the foreshadowing is going to pay off later a lot it oh, does a really good job at setting up plot points and it's setting up a lot and it's not entirely hard to follow and it may not but it might not make the most sense now but i feel like coming later like later like a couple episodes down seasons down whatever a lot of shit that happened this season that we even forgot about like bro what happened with the fucking alien bro all the flaxons or the martians both, both, right, right. So, wait, so this is the, that was when I was watching that shit with chat. There was a little bit of confusion, right? So, what we see is that one of the Martians have the shape shifting powers, right? Yes, the, those are the ones with shape shifting. Right? So, one of the Martians disguised as a human. Yes. Right, and they were on the ship because you saw like when, when they all uh, returned home, he had his flag upside down, so he shifted it. Yes. One of them made it to the Earth, right? And then right, the so one of the Martians made it to the Earth. Right. The Flaxons took over the Martians via the human that the Martian shapeshifted into. You know what I mean? Did, am I making sense? Flaxons didn't have anything to do with Martian. Or wait, Mars. wait. Flaxons were, the, were, on, were on Mars, right? The, the little creatures? No, those aren't Flaxons. Those are... Um... Flaxons was episode two. Remember when Omni Man smoked their planet? Those were the Flaxons. Oh no, no, not those, not those, not those. No, I'm not talking about those. I'm, I'm talking about, about the Martians and the creatures that were on Mars. I know what you're talking about. I forgot the name. Sequids, the, Sequids, the, Sequids. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. no, I mean, Sequid. like, so the Martian, we got the Martian on Earth, and then on Mars, the Sequins took over that human, right. and are taking over Mars. So that's gonna come back at yeah. some point. Yeah. Not to mention we got a Martian on on Earth. Yeah. We don't know when he's gonna pull up. You know what I'm saying? Right. We got Beastman in the cut waiting for some strong foe oh, to just bro. pop out and beat I'm his ass. I'm telling you, bro. Battle. Be I've been telling my friends this. He's actually like broken. Like he's broken. Well, I'm not gonna say. I'm just gonna say he's broken, dog. You watch the comics? You read the comics? No, no. I'm just saying he's broken. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. Bro, what? <laughs> Dude, I'm just saying he's broken. But yeah, definitely he's not no he's not a pushover. I really feel like he was Omni Man was scared, bro. I You're capping you. so hard, I bro. You, bro. I Omni Man you. was not scared, bro. Bro, he's a uh, bro. 
every one of those villains. I promise you, bro. I promise you, Battle Beast. Nah, bro. I, I, there's so much mystery behind Omni Man, bro. Like, there was a reason, because I, I don't know if I'm mistaken, but when I was watching, he, like, Omni Man, when uh, Mark and them invaded the building to, to beat Auto Tune Man, I, I don't know these people's names. Auto Tune Man. Oh, Machine Head, yeah. Machine Head, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, when Mark broke in the building with, with all the heroes to beat Machine Man, before they started fighting, Omni Man was watching, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we see him again after Mark gets all, gets put on a stretcher. Mm -hmm. Right, so... Acting like nothing happened. Right, right, right. So, Mark, so Omni was there the entire time. Excuse me. So he was there before Beast was even, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And he still chose to do nothing. Like, I don't think he was scared at that point. I feel like he was just on some petty shit, like, because he was trying to tell Mark not to do it. And Mark went and did it anyway, so he was like, oh, now you gotta learn the hard way, type shit. But nah, bro. No one in that vicinity was messing with Battle Beast, bro. Bro, you really think Battle Beast stronger than Omni, bro? Yes, yes. yes. Crazy, bro. If I end up being right, it's gonna be godlike, bro. I I'm, just, it. I'm just like, there's no way because he says he travel, he travel across the world, the universe, bro. Like he said that, and he's still finding foes that he can't match up, or he can match up. He to. said he couldn't find nobody, right? Yes, bro. Hey, bro, but Omni, I don't know, bro. Vil them Viltrax are strong as shit, bro. Viltramites, yeah, they're... Them Viltramites, bro. They're... I said Viltrax. <laughs> <laughs> Viltramites, I mean, they don't have heat vision. They don't have ultra sick hearing. You know, they don't have cold breath or whatever. Like. And despite that, not a single person alive has defeated Omni-Man to this day. <laughs> Same Earth, as Battle Earth, Beast, bro. On Earth, on Earth. On bro, Earth. If, they, if anybody has defeated him outside of Earth, we haven't heard of it yet. You're right. He is the strongest And, and, and it's not like he's only fighting Earth villains. He's fighting niggas from all across the galaxy that's coming to Earth. You know what I'm saying? So we're not going to act like Omni's a pushover. You but know so what I'm has saying? Battle Beast. Nah, yeah, that's that's why I'm saying I don't know how you can say Battle Beast is that much stronger when they're both literally going through the same trials and tribulations at the least. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, we only know that Omni-Man went to Earth. He was only in Viltramite and Earth, or Viltrum and Earth. That's the only but, two places he went to. Mm -hmm. Other, so, yeah, those there's only two places. This guy Battle Beast said he scattered across the universe, dog. That's a big gap, bro. All right, nah, but what I, I I hear you, right? But would you not say that enemies from across the universe are coming to take over Earth? What's so special about Earth in that? Bro, I don't know, but we got fucking Vil. What what are them other niggas called, bro? Them. Stupid portal niggas come in. We got different villains coming to Earth every other day. Mm -hmm. Trying to take over Earth, destroy Earth. That's why there's a whole superhero union, legion. That's why they work with the government, feel me? Because niggas are trying to destroy, take over, fuck up Earth every day. You know what I'm saying? From all across the galaxy. But like, that's why we got the superheroes here, you know what I mean? So I don't think it's fair to say that just because he traveled means that he fought stronger foes. Because there's niggas coming to Earth trying to fuck shit up. Can you, can't you say that for other universes as well? What do you mean? Could you say, oh, people are coming for other universes as well? Yeah, yeah, there's enemies coming for everywhere. But that that's why I'm saying, like, they both had their fair share of universal fights. You know what I'm saying? I'm, as far as from, from the information that we got, you know what I'm saying? We don't, because we, we only know what, up to episode six or whatever. But from the information that we got, they both had their fair share of universal fights. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think you can really say one is that much stronger than the other, you know what I'm saying? Are we gonna act like Omni Man would not fuck if Omni Man was trying to kill Mark, would he not fuck up Mark that much? Like literally the same amount as Beast Boy? Beast Man? What man be what, what, what the fuck is his name? Battle Beast. Battle Beast, yeah. Uh, um Battle Beast is broken, that's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, nah, man, I, I I promise you, Bobby's broken. But um, after seeing what Mark has been doing these past few episodes, bro, uh, Omni Man might do more than just fuck him up, bro. Yeah, right? Bro, he would be doing the same shit that happened with Battle Beast, bro. That nigga would be getting his chest cavity caved in, son. Yeah, but. Folded like an omelet, nigga. 
<laughs> nah, he folded him like a pancake, dog. No, that actually was bad, bro. Let me get all bad. got folded, actually. God damn, he got flipped over, bro. God damn. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't think Mark was gonna make it, but apparently Viltramite cells don't die. They don't he, die, bro. He, can, he can die. Like, Viltrums can die, but it's hard for them to die, pretty much. They're gonna have to find... They're probably gonna try and get, like, a... um. Because you know the shit is based off of DC Comics, right? What? Yeah. Uh, give me one sec. I'm putting my shirt on. It's cold in this bitch. Um, yeah, it's based off of uh, DC Comics. Apparently, the creators of Invincible got the permission to use the likeness of DC characters. That's why in the beginning you had like Wonder Woman, Batman, Aquaman, you know what I'm saying? Like all these fake DC heroes that, that Omni-Man killed and Omni-Man is supposed to be Superman. Oh, I mean, I mean, that makes sense. I'm like, bro, they're literally cop-outs. That's why I'm so glad they got smoked for this episode. Cause... Yeah, right. that's why they did it like that. I mean, because they, they, the guys got the permission to use the likeness, but they didn't want to make an exact replica, so they smoked them all first episode, which is a really cool decision, I think. Yeah, the story in general is really dope. I'm not going for it. Yeah, the episode's amazing. I'm trying to think of more shit, because there's a lot of shit that can be going on in the episode that we don't even know of. I mean, it's pulled up on the tailor. Like, what's up? Yo, you seen the empty threat, bro? Dog, he said, never piss off your tailor, right? I'm like, right? Yeah, like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was shook, boy. What's his name? Art? I think his name's Art. Yeah, Art was scared, bro. I know his butt cheeks were clenching, bro. <laughs> but the, um, that's the tailor's name? Yeah, Art. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was so scared. <laughs> he was 100% shook, bro. bro. That man was shook. <laughs> <laughs> bro, did you see what Avdi man like opened the bot the cap of the bottle, bro? <laughs> this fella shook a bit. Bro. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He, he just popped him with his thumb, and nigga was just shook, <laughs> looking like damn. Bro. That could be my head, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> this fella art, bro. I'm like dog. And I thought that was so cool when Art and Debbie were analyzing the shirt mm -hmm. and the outfit. And when she was like, oh, but that maybe Nolan was attacked by them or something like that. Yeah, like, yeah right. He went through the blood and seen that the blood the on the hand was yeah. oxidized, the light, like the oldest or whatever. I'm like, bro. Like, <laughs> this fella said Nolan struck first. I'm like, oh, bro. And that scene, bro, with Debbie and Nolan at the end. Oh my god. That shit was so fucked, bro. Oh, fuck. Next episode is actually gonna go fucking nuts, bro. If any oh yeah, definitely. But I think episode eight, the season finale, oh it's gonna be ridiculous. Oh, it's only eight episodes a season? Yeah, bro. Oh, that just broke my heart, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I thought it was more, man. It's well, actually, I guess it's But you time. know what? It's because it's 40 minute runtime, so it's technically like two episodes. Yeah. So we technically got like 16 episodes. Definitely 16. Or, damn, man, <laughs> that kind of fucked my heart, broke my heart, bro. <laughs> but the thing yeah. is, what you can do, it's time. We got to read the comics, bro. Nah, I, I can't to. do it, bro. bro. I can't do it. I can't do it. They still, I, I, uh? they still make co like comic book chapters each, each week, pretty much, still. Yeah, yeah, I heard this is still going. Yeah, bro, it's time, bro. We have to do it for the culture, bro. Apparently, it's different, like a lot, not a lot different, but sort of different. Yeah, but you know, it's normally, you know, shit gets changed when it gets adopted to TV. Especially when it comes to comics. Mm hmm. It's the same with manga and anime, you know? Um, nah, I don't know if I can read the comics, though, bro. Like, I really enjoy anticipating what's going to happen and shit. And, and theory crafting off of the show, you know what I'm saying? Like,. I don't want to spoil that reading the comics. I don't know, but we'll see. If episode 8 goes crazy, I might have to, bro. Yeah. It depends on episode 8. No, no, 100%. Um, what else? I, I didn't catch what you were saying because I was playing. What did you think about Amber and Mark's relationship again? Oh, bro, she's a thot, bro. You think she's hold a on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me switch my phone real quick. Give me one sec, bro. Oh, you think she's a thot? She's a thotty too shoddy. Oh no, bro. What do they call it? Shoddy too hotty, shoddy too thotty. Oh no, bro. There's no way, bro. 
she could be a thought though, but. Yo, what's up with Bender? Hmm. What? You think she's a thot? Bro. Bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. I don't think she's a thot. Bro, I know you saw how she was looking at me at the party, bro. I mean... Bro, I'm telling you, saw her face when she was like, he had a girlfriend, bro. Bro, Callie, Ka <laughs> why does it sound like you're talking to a styrofoam cup? Bro? Yeah, my bad. I switched to my phone. Actually, hold up real quick. <laughs> oh, mobile sound. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, Callie. Yo, is this a little bit better or no? Yeah, it's a little bit better. Yeah, that's better, bro. What's up, Blackhawk? Someone who was talking about through a jail phone. <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, my phone, Discord on the phone is packed with garbage. I like this, bro. Um, what were we were gonna say, yeah, she was looking at the frat guy, and then she he brought up like, oh, my girlfriend's out of state or whatever, and she she had that look. I was like, bruh. Yeah, bro, like she was going that night, bro. That was you, I like, nah, but I genuinely enjoy the character. You know, that's my shorty. Um. The actor, Zazie Beats? Zazie Beats, oh, Zazie Beats to go. She is. She's on, um, she's already from uh, Atlanta. Atlanta, I remember from Deadpool. Mmm, you're right. She was, uh, Lucky or whatever. Gandit, Gandit. Not Gandit. The Lucky bitch. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. You got it right. I heard Atlanta go hard too. No, nah, yeah, she's good. I like, I like, good time, I, I genuinely enjoy the character, and having, uh, a black love interest is really cool. It you is know, cool, I like it. And a generic white superhero, so it'll be like... Actually, I think Amber in the comics is white. I think really? that, that's a big difference from the show, is that she's black in the, an, well, not, I thought anime, cartoon, but she's white in the comics. That's actually bad though, wow. Yeah, I think she, I think her design in the uh, cartoons ten times better. A thousand times better. She's literally like your typical your typical Karen, bro. Oh, when, like when it comes to design, when it comes to design at least. Yeah. She got that she got that that that, that black girl horror too, mm -hmm. She's like you can tell I mean like every black person watching that show felt that vibe when she first started talking and she was connecting that nigga Mark too. Yeah. Like, because, like, he had, like, a... I can't think of the word, bro, but, like, Mark was all jittery and shit, and she was just possessing this nigga, bro. Yeah. Like, dominant and hella dominant. Bro. Yeah, bro. Like, she's dope. That's a dope ass character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. And then you go to her room and, and everything, and, like, you'd hear, like, jazz and shit in the back or whatever. Oh yeah, when we or R and B, yeah, or R and B, yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah, about yeah, and R and B, shit, yeah, that's, bro. that shit was. Sick. If they probably licensed in real songs, I would've been crazy, bro. If you started playing fucking Summer Walker, for real. Bro. <laughs> like I said, the whole show's great. I'm fucks with William too, bro. William's a pretty good friend, especially to Mark. He's a really good friend. Um, oh yeah, he just found out that he that he got his powers too, yeah. bro. Uh -oh. it, had, it, it was it was bound to happen eventually, though. Yeah. No, he just has to man up and admit to Amber that he's invincible. Wait, but you said he shouldn't. I said he shouldn't, but if he's really serious about her, and he did say in the episode that he's really serious about her. Yeah, bro. So you might as well I tell he her. I, I honestly think that he's just not telling her for her safety more than anything. Mainly, yeah. Because if she, if they... Mm -hmm. If um, if villains start to find out that Mark is invincible, then that's not good for the school at all. Because then they would start attacking the school. They don't know his identity. They don't know his address. Like it's definitely not good. That's why I think him telling her 
about his identity, his superhero identity is definitely it's it's risky for sure. He got to do something because he definitely in the doghouse right now. Uh, this guy is definitely in the corner, getting smoked by villains. Um, now I'm talking about with Shorty. Oh yeah, that. But he he's down bad and everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah, because he, he even he got fucked up the last two episodes, bro. Like. Yeah. And the thing is, he was hurt, though, last episode. Because, like, the thing is, he was hurt. Like, he was sore. Yeah. He brought up, like, he was really sore from the concussion or whatever. So he's still kind of weak. But... Okay, you, give, you, giving him, you giving him all that? Bro, I have to, dog. That's that's the goal, dog. I, I, can't, I can't see him go out like this. Yeah, bro, if he gets fucked up again, bro, next episode, I'm going to be sick, dog. Yeah, he needs to secure a huge dub. W, huge W, bro. But that's the yeah, thing. That's, but that's the irony about the show, right? That's the irony about the show. It's called Invincible, but the main character gets whooped every episode. Like, <laughs> man, not even Invincible. <laughs> you see how the title card be getting bloodier every episode too, bro? Yeah, I'm feeling like episode eight is gonna be covered in all red, bro. Yeah, bro, that shit might actually be some crazy gory shit. This episode is pretty gory too. Yeah, with uh, that that one dude, that creepy ass dude, like changing it's humans. Humans into robot machines. And yeah, shit. that's kind of weird, bro. But I see what mm, I, mm. I see what he's trying to say. Yo, what's up? Um, I think that that guy might come back too. I feel like these, bro. This this show is just. I feel like this show is really setting up so many fucking plot points, bro. I feel like that guy and those robots are gonna come back, bro. But I think they're going to come back on the government side. Because you know how the commissioner, he was like, this technology is really good. It's impressive. <gasps> and then Mark was like, you mean terrible or some shit like that, right? And then he took the guy by his way. He's like, can you save them? He's like, "He's like, we're going to do what we can. You think... Oh... You think... Oh, my God. So you think he, they're planning on something to work against uh, Omni-Man? Pretty Maybe much. against Omni Man because it because it fucked up Mark pretty bad, but I don't know if they know how badly it fucked up Mark or like the whole situation because they came after the fact, you know. I don't know how much Mark told him. He probably told him everything though. But um, I don't know about to fight Omni Man specifically, but the way that he didn't just straight out flat flat out like shun the technology, like why would anybody make this? You know what I'm saying? Like that, I feel like that's kind of telling. No way, okay, you're right, okay, so he did mention that, like you said, they could use it or for anything, honestly, which I, we can all agree it has to be for Omni-Man, and it, he did yeah. he did say, I can't believe it, these robots gave you a run for your money. Did he say that? Yeah, he said, he, oh, he said it's hard. Yeah. Did he really say that he shit, said, bro? He said hard to believe these robots gave you a run for your money. Oh, shit. Yeah, so like, bro, might, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they got the yeah, kai. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, think yeah. about it, bro. They got the kaiju. Yeah. I, th I remember that kaiju monster thing that gave him a run for his money as well. Mm -hmm. Um, that monster thing. Uh, remember when it made uh, Donald like go into the karate mood or whatever? Or that that karate stance when it moved a bit. Wait, what are you talking the about? Same, I remember the episode when Mark was uh, leaving Amber to go to uh, DC. Oh. DC. Wait, no, you talking about Mark? Or Mark? No, 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 to go to uh, Mount Rushmore. Okay, yeah, yeah. To yeah, fight yeah, Doctor yeah. Sizemo or whatever. Um, yeah. He comes back and he says, "Oh, Dad, there's something on your back. That tail thing, on his yeah. back." Yeah. Remember, do you know where that tail thing's from? The same kaiju mm -hmm. that he took down, like, law, like far away in like another country. And remember that scene? Like the body of that kaiju was near Donald. Donald's Cecil's um, assistant. Who's Donald? The guy who the guy who's always with Cecil. Cecil's the commissioner? Cecil's yeah, the old guy. Donald. Donald the guy with the glasses, bro. I'd have no, let me look it up right now, bro. Bruh, he's, he's always with like, Cecil, oh! dude. He's always with Cecil, bro. Bro, how do you know all these names already, bro? I barely remember nobody's names, son. Bro, I'm invested, bro. I respect <laughs> This it. show is cracked, dude. <laughs> I respect it, bro. That, this shit is actually really good. It's actually cracked. Um, appreciate it, Strider. You're the GOAT, bro. 
Um, so remember when Donald was near the kaiju, the green monster thing that wasn't like dead, pretty well, not dead, but it was done for. I wish I can pull up a picture. And let's see. Yo, fuck! I think I just got smoked by a spoiler. Looking for this nigga, bro. Yo, yeah, 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 definitely. Watch out, bro. Yeah, everybody. Like, don't even, crazy. don't even Google it, bro. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, I know, I do remember him now. Yeah. Uh, but um, what should we call it? Yeah, he was near a green monster. You never seen that kaiju? They say kaiju, like that's how they pronounce it. It was like a demon thing, or whatever. Bro, there's so much shit going on. But I have to see it again. So pretty much, yeah. So pretty much, every time Cecil, like every time Omni Man like beats something that gives him like a tough time, Cecil analyzes it pretty much. I feel like it'll all be coming back, bro. Oh nah, you my god. Bro, another part, bro. Oh my god. I watch this episode a lot, bro. And you were the only person I've seen who caught this. I literally, it literally blew my mind. I'm like, dude, all these reactors, like, none of them noticed it but you, bro. It was what? when Cecil teleported to the house, right? And he it was all quiet and everything, and it was dark. And Omni Man oh. was like, "Shh." If you wanted to see bro, I, how Omni Man would react in the dark, bro, I didn't even dark? get that. I didn't even get that. I'm like, bro, what? Mm -hmm. and, uh, I was like, bro, um, if that's true, then Omni Man fucked himself up, bro. Yeah, nah, he fold, he folded. Like, I think that was the moment because that they were still uh, the demon was still alive at that point, right? He was, yeah. Yeah, so that was the moment. I think that was the moment where he started to realize that Omni Man probably killed him. Cause, the, cause he already knows the kid that the Omni Man killed him. He's just trying to find a way to defeat Omni Man in case, you know. What I mean, Omni reason isn't justified. You know what I'm saying? Right, cause they can't they can't snitch now. What, yeah, right. Like, cause if, if they if they snitch and then they can't like, and Omni Man's a villain, like they literally are fucked. They literally can't do anything. <laughs> they literally can't do anything. Right, like, if I'm yeah, like, but the fact that I'm gonna come out right after that, well, then again, he was smoked too. But the fact he didn't like recover and then just go back to doing more, like, he recovered and went back to being a hero. Oh no, bro. The thing is, I can talk about the show for, I can talk about the show for an hour, dude. Like, there's just so much that's going on in just a six episode span and the th fact with eve being like the new like mother nature angel or whatever oh like, yeah going around helping people and shit. yeah that's mad cool of her and i'm i don't like okay hear me out bro like the, i i can understand where the dad is coming from but the way he's delivering it is dog shit. yeah not 100 percent. like his concerns are definitely justified, but so he definitely shouldn't. I mean, he damn near called his in the way that he goes about it. He damn near called his daughter a bitch, bro. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Like that's like. Nigga said the worst day of my life is when you got powers, bro. Like, Jesus Christ, bro. God damn. Like, that's foul, bro. I can't do that. Bro. <laughs> I did this too. Shit, foul, like, bro. Oh my god, like fuck. And like, I understand why. Eve's honestly one of my favorite characters, dog. I like her growth a lot. Especially her growth away or her growth away from Rex. Her growth away from her family. She's just doing what she wants, pretty much. Um, I really I like respect how they that. didn't like I you know what I like I like how they didn't go for like the classic love triangle shit, like have Mark hit Eve. Yeah, that would have been cool. And corny. then fucking Shorty walked in, or like, you know what I'm saying? Now it's a love triangle. Like, I'm glad they didn't do that. Yeah. Eve's like, her own Shorty, person. Shorty, Shorty respects that and goes off on her own. Like, I actually respect the hell out of that. Bro. Yeah, what's well, like the like body language? Went for, like, some love triangle for shit. Right. It's like, with, remember when. Remember when Mark tried to hold a hugger or whatever and she didn't really hug back? Like, she knew her boundaries, bro. I'm like, I respect that. Yeah. She's not trying to get in between her and, uh, well, Amber and Mark. Yeah. 
hundred percent. I think they'll they'll probably they'll probably piss us off at some point though. Yeah. I, I I don't know if they're gonna last, bro. They can't last, unless Amber he Mark, tells right? um, unless he tells, and then what you might call it. Um, yeah, yeah, he he won't last. He's pretty much done him up, and if it, especially if Mark doesn't tell. Um, Even if oh. he tells, I feel like I feel like they wrote her that she might get smoked, bro. Bro, chill, bro. Ah, <laughs> chill, bro. Uh, I, I, no, I need more Zaza beats, bro. Like she's the goat, bro. No, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, bro. Um, and then we're not even, we're not even gonna talk about the last scene, bro, of the episode about them digging up Immortal. Who's Immortal? Yeah, who is that? Immortal, the bro, the, the guy that um, what we call it? <sighs> the guy that Omni Man decapitated in the first episode. He was like, why? Why? Whatever. Right? Remember when he, like... Remember when uh, uh, Immortal threw the people in the sky to save them? Against the Baller Twins? And they were in the air, and the Omni-Man was saving them individually, and then there was one left that was falling? And oh, he, that guy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, pretty much, like, the main guy of the uh, Guardian Blues. Oh, the team, yeah. yeah. Oh, he was Immortal? Yeah. Yeah, they, bro, hear his... Look at his name, like... It says immortal. I am promise you he's coming back. Bro. There's no way he's not coming back. How are you going to call yourself the immortal and not live? Like, yep. And not live. Yeah, hey, so, yeah, so I think I think he's coming back. 1,000%. Oh, and that's the insurance. Shit, I didn't that's, even know his name was immortal, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and that's the insurance that I think the Mahler twins are talking about. Like, if we right, can't so get... Now if, if, if Robot don't keep up his end of the deal, they can let everybody know. Or they can release I'm Immortal, bring mm-hmm. back Immortal. Yeah. And you know I mean then everything's going to shit. He's gonna tell the world. And yeah, that's that's what I think is that they're gonna bring back Immortal. Immortal's gonna find some way to escape the Mauler twins. And then what I'm thinking is he's gonna have to tell like he's either gonna tell the world or he's gonna fight Omni Man. Yo, imagine that nigga just shows up at the crib mm-hmm. and Mark answers the door, bro. Oh, bro. And then Mark finds out everything, and then that's when they fight. I, I, bro, if that happens, literally pay me 10 subs, bro, because I'm actually a genius. <laughs> I'm a genius, bro. Please. Like, that, there's no if ands, or buts, bro. This is how it's going to go, bro. And if it does go like that, bro, this series is about to go down, bro, as one of the greatest... Oh, season one shows season one, two, and it's only bro. season one, bro. Oh, Damn, I wonder how, how long it will be in the season, man. Yeah, bro. And I want to know why Robot. Okay, I know, I sort of know why Robot likes Monster Girl a lot. Because um, she feels like they're the same. Yeah, they're the same, and he's he's the only one that had that kind of connection. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, remember she's... when he tried to have that with her, and she was like, "What do you know? You're a robot." You're a robot, yes. That shit was OG, bro. Yeah, bro. I feel like at that point she was, he was like, "I get this girl," or whatever, mm-hmm. and that's how they got that connection. Literally, like that's when Black when Black Samson said, "Oh yeah, you didn't like I begged to differ. I didn't get my ass be in the Arctic, or you didn't get your ass be in the Arctic for me, or whatever." Right. Just to get that plant. Now he yeah like he he's kind of like Omni like he's definitely got villainous intent but he's got connections to mm-hmm. Earth mm-hmm. or to somebody here you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I don't know he if it's has pure. Emotion, so. hmm? I don't think it's pure emo- like he's definitely not pure intentions like Omni man like Omni man trying to conquer I don't know what the hell um robots trying to do but they definitely have some some evil side to them. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. We just still don't even know exactly what robot even is. That's true. But did we see we saw his body um in like that little chamber thing. So my guess is that my guess is that he's he what either he was a human before and he's now a robot because his human body got destroyed. Or he's trying to create, you know, like some Pinocchio shit. That like he's trying to create a body for himself. But I don't know which one would be more realistic for Robot. What did he take? He took DNA from Rex. Rex, right? Right. 
Hmm? Yeah, he took DNA from Rex. Damn, bro. Then I don't know what the fuck you gotta do with that shit, bro. Oh my I, god. I'm 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 kinda worried too. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. Nothing good can come out of this. Oh yeah, no, 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 one hundred percent. There's definitely some 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 fucked up shit's about to go down. Both of them having clone Rex. And the and that Rex is gonna think it's the original, right? Rex is gonna think he's the original. Yeah, yeah. But that's how it was with them, with the twins. Because I remember some part in the episode of the show, um, Robot asked Rex, um, could, what would happen if you were to live with, live a day with yourself or something like that? Talking to yourself or whatever? To Rex, at least? Mm -hmm. I remember him saying that one episode. And that kind of has to tie in. Like, maybe he's making a clone of Rex. I don't know. Or making me, he's making a Rex body? Or a Wait, body Wait, say of, the line again, bro. It was like... Have you ever thought about living with yourself for one day or some shit? Word. Something like that. And what I'm thinking is he could also make a body like Rex or through Rex's DNA and then use that body um, to either... That'd be weird. Oh, oh yeah, that's going to be weird, dog. Yeah, bro. I, I don't know. It's like... Dude, this is weird. Oh my god, this series, dog. It's just so much. Shit. I've never seen this series. I think. I think what inter what makes this series much more interesting than it actually is is that it's a superhero show that's animated. Like that's like because usually shows like this would be like live action, like The Boys, right? But it's an animated series, so it's like it's a different approach, dog. I Word. like what they're doing with it. Apparently, they're making a live-action movie or show for Invincible 2. What? Yeah, I'm like, bro. Movie, right? They would make a live. It would have. It would probably be a movie. It'd probably be a movie. But they're bugging out. They're bugging out with the live show. Just stick with the animation. Hey, bro. I'm not watching that shit. So. You're not. <laughs> you're not watching it. I mean, that's good. I guess like, they do. It, they do. It. I mean, cause they could. It's not like you. you can't do a good live-action superhero movie, you know what I'm saying? That is true. It's just a matter of doing it right. And they'd have to do it, yeah, how they do it with the show still going on, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Would it be tied to the show, or would it be a whole entity? Like a completely separate plot, or, you know? Because we're only in season one. Like, if we were close to the end, it would make sense, you know what I'm saying? Unless they're doing like sequels, like they're gonna do an Invincible movie on the whole season. That you know what I'm saying? That... And then Invincible two. You know what I'm saying? That would be weird. Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like why do all that? Why re like reset all that when you can just continue on the story? Yeah, I don't know, bro. I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't know why they would make a movie in the first place, for real. But hey. Something successful, you gotta milk it, right? <laughs> I honestly want, I honestly Sorry. want them to milk it, bro. I, I really do. Not milk it to the point that like it becomes like repetitive, but do every chapter possible, pretty much, or animate. Not every chapter, but animate till the end, till the end yeah. of the series. Like, like that would be fucking amazing, bro. I yeah, can't the, wait. The series is still going. Yeah. And then we're not even going to talk about the Allen guy, bro. The guy who's like the cop, the coalition of planets. We're not even going to talk about him. Oh, he was supposed to check, he was checking the defense. Yeah, but he was like, oh, it was for Urath or whatever, not Earth. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, he's funny. I forgot who, he's, who was he voiced by, bro. Like, I, knew, I know who it is. I know his voice, but it, it sounded familiar. I didn't bother, like, checking it. To hear him again. Yeah, For I probably real. have to. But his yeah, voice is really on. He remember any. This is bro. This is so good, bro. <laughs> oh my. No, this shit is mad good. I'm not gonna cap.